Welcome back to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. Today we're going to take a look at the Hubson H111 Nano Quad Rotor. This one came from GearBest.com, they sell it for only $25.90, and the shipping was pretty quick. The aircraft comes in a well-designed plastic display case that holds everything and looks great. The 2.4 GHz transmitter is stored inside, and the charging cable and extra blades are stored in the lid. It's all nicely color coordinated and the aircraft locks in very securely. It's a nice addition that helps protect your aircraft and it looks good while doing it. The aircraft itself flies great. This is a Hubson quad rotor and they are one of the leaders in nano quads. If you've flown a Hubson aircraft before then you'll definitely recognize the forward back flip function and other controls. A lot of nano quad rotors use a push button flip system, but Hubson uses a system where you push the stick forward then pull it all the way back to do a flip. It takes a little more skill, but it gives you a little more control. When it comes to the performance, this aircraft can outperform a Cheerson CX-10 and a lot of other nano quads. It's only about half a centimeter bigger than a CX-10, but it has better yaw rates and speed. The aircraft has three flight modes, low, medium, and high speed, and the spin or yaw rates actually increases in each mode. A lot of people are really concerned about being able to spin the aircraft quickly, and the H111 Q4 can outspin anything I've flown. It helps to be able to quickly turn and bank the aircraft, and it gives you the ability to pull off some pretty aggressive flight. The four motors are installed with moving brackets that allow them to shift positions. I've seen this design on a few aircraft and it seems to provide a little bit of give during a crash to help protect the motors, plus I think it allows the motors to get more leverage when you spin the aircraft, increasing your yaw rates. I may be wrong, but it seems logical. Now let's take a little look at the electronics that actually make this aircraft possible. You can easily remove the canopy and even the 100 milliamp 3.7 volt battery and get a good look at all the electronics. Like most hubs and aircraft, it uses an A7105 wireless 2.4 GHz transceiver and an InventSense MPU3050 triple axis gyro. The gyro has an onboard processor that incorporates data from the onboard 3 axis accelerometer. It was hard to read the info on the accelerometer, but it's probably something similar to an MC3210. The onboard processor coordinates everything and gives you an amazingly stable flight. Altogether, I was getting about 5 minutes of flight from a 25 minute charge. For a $25 aircraft, the Hubson H111 G4 is definitely a high performance machine capable of satisfying your desire for a quick flight. You can maneuver in tight indoor spaces and you can fight strong winds outdoors without a problem. Although it really is a flying circuit board, it seems to be pretty strong and crash resistant. It would be nice if it was in a protective canopy instead of having the motor supported by the circuit board itself, but when an aircraft is this small, every little bit of weight counts. If you have a chance, definitely check out the Hubson H111 G4. It's got the speed, power, and precision you're looking for, and it's only $25.90 on GearBest.com. Let us know your experiences in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more RC101 with the Taoist Flyer.